honesty. Do not lie. Wherefore, putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 25. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Exodus chapter 20 verse 16. They that observe lying vanities forsake their own mercy. Jonah chapter 2 verse 8. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envy. Romans chapter 12 verse 17. Chapter 13 verse 13. Providing for honest things not only in the sight of the Lord, but also in the sight of men. Second Corinthians chapter 8 verse 21. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, think on these things. Philippians chapter 4 verse 8. Lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. First Timothy chapter 2 verse 2. In all things willing to live honestly. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 18. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. Who is a liar but he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ? He is Antichrist, that denieth the Father and the Son. 1 John chapter 2, verses 4 and 22. If a man say, I love God, and hateth his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he hath sinned, how can he love God whom he hath not sinned? And this commandment have we from him that he who loveth God love his brother also. 1 John chapter 4, verses 20 to 21. I have hated them that regard lying vanities, but I trust in the Lord. Let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. Psalm chapter 31, verses 6 and 18. Blessed is that man that maketh the Lord his trust, and respecteth not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. Psalm chapter 40 verse 4 The mouth of them that speak lies shall be stopped. He that worketh deceit shall not dwell within my house. He that telleth lies shall not tarry in my sight. Psalm chapter 63 verse 11 Chapter 101 verse 7 Remove from me the way of lying and grant me thy law graciously. I hate and abhor lying, but thy law do I love. Psalm chapter 119 verses 29 and 163. Deliver my soul, O Lord, from lying lips and from a deceitful tongue. Psalm chapter 120, verse 2. These six things that the Lord hate, yea, seven are an abomination unto him. Proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, and heart that deviseth wicked imaginations, feet that be swift in running to mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies and he that soweth discord among the brethren. Proverbs chapter 6, verses 16 to 19. He that hideth hatred with lying lips, and he that uttereth a slander, is a fool. In the multitude of words there wanteth not sin, but he that refraineth his lips is wise. The tongue of the just is as choice silver, the heart of the wicked is little worth. Proverbs chapter 10, verses 18 to 20. The thoughts of the righteous are right, and the counsels of the wicked are deceit. He that speaketh truth showeth forth righteousness, but a false witness deceit. There is that speaketh like the piercings of a sword, but the tongue of the wise is health. The leap of truth shall be established forever, but a lying tongue is but for a moment. Deceit is in the heart of them that imagine evil, but to the counselors of peace is joy. There shall no evil happen to the just, but the wicked shall be filled with mischief. Lying lips are abomination to the Lord. But they that do truly are his delight. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 5, verses 17 to 22. A righteous man hateth lying, but a wicked man is so loathsome and cometh to shame. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 5. A faithful witness will not lie, but a false witness will utter lies. The wisdom of the prudent is to understand his way, but the folly of fools is deceit. A true witness delivereth souls. But a deceitful witness speaketh lies. Proverbs chapter 14 verses 5, 8, 25. A wicked doer giveth heed to false lips, and a liar giveth ear to a naughty tongue. 
excellent speech becometh not a fool, much less do lying lips a prince. Proverbs chapter 17, verses 4 and 7. Better is the poor that walketh in his integrity than he that is perverse in his lips and is a fool. A false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall not escape. A false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall perish. The desire of a man is his kindness, and a poor man is better than a liar. Proverbs chapter 19, verses 1, 5, 9, and 22. Bread of deceit is sweet to a man, but afterwards his mouth shall be filled with gravel. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 17. The getting of treasures by a lying tongue is a vanity tossed to and fro of them that seek death. Proverbs chapter 21, verse 6. He that hateth dissembleth with his lips, and layeth up deceit within him. When he speaketh fair, believe him not, for there are seven abominations in his heart. Whose hatred is covered by deceit, his wickedness shall be showed before the whole congregation. Whoso diggeth a pit shall fall therein, and he that rolleth a stone, it will return upon him. A lying tongue hateth those that are afflicted by it, and a flattering mouth worketh ruin. Proverbs chapter 26, verses 24 to 28. Be not called a whisperer, and lie not in wait with a tongue, for a foul shame is upon the thief, and an evil condemnation upon the double tongue. Ecclesiasticus chapter 5 verse 14. Device not a lie against thy brother, neither do the lie to thy friend. Use not to make any manner of lie, for the custom thereof is not good. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verses 12 to 13. A lie is a foul blot in a man, yet it is continually in the mouth of the untaught. A thief is better than a man that is accustomed to lie, but they both shall have destruction to heritage. The disposition of a liar is dishonorable, and his shame is ever with him. A wise man shall promote himself to honor with his words, and he that hath understanding will please great men. Ecclesiastes chapter 20 verses 24 to 27. Three sorts of men my soul hateth, and I am greatly offended at their life. A poor man that is proud a rich man that is a liar, and an old adulterer that doteth. Ecclesiastes chapter 25 verse 2 Be ashamed of whoredom before father and mother, and of a lie before a prince and a mighty man. Ecclesiastes chapter 41 verse 17 The sixth is the spirit of lying, in perdition and jealousy to practice deceits and concealments from kindred and friends. Testament of Eubin chapter 1 verse 29 I have proved in my heart and in my whole life that truth with just dealing is good and well-pleasing to God, and that lying and anger are evil, because they teach men all wickedness. And now, my children, behold, I am dying, and I tell you of a truth, that unless you keep yourselves from the spirit of lying and of anger and love truth and long-suffering, ye shall perish. For the spirit of anger encompasseth him with the net of deceit, and blindeth his eyes, and through lying darkeneth his mind and giveth him its own peculiar vision. This spirit goeth always with lying at the right hand of Satan, that with cruelty and lying his works may be wrought. And if he suffer loss voluntarily or involuntarily, be not vexed, for from vexation ariseth wrath with lying. Moreover, a twofold mischief is wrath with lying, and they assist one another in order to disturb the heart. And when the soul is continually disturbed, the Lord departeth from it, and the liar ruleth over it. Testament of Dan, chapter 1, verses 3, 10, 13, 20, 26, and 27. Hatred, therefore, is evil, for it constantly mateth with lying, speaking against the truth, and it maketh small things to be great, and causeth the light to be darkness, and calleth the sweet bitter, and teacheth slander, and kindleth wrath, and stirreth up war, and violence, and all covetousness. It filleth the heart with evils, and devilish poison. Testament of Gad, chapter 1, verse 25.